Rayshon, in the case of three-year-old Carlito, Rayshon, you are not... I put up a picture of Wolf and one of Puffy Sons, Justin Cohn. Look at him. You tell me. Yeah. Do you think that Diddy is actually Justin's father? How your son look like your best friend? Going on the value. I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. That's who I was sick. Cassie spoke on it. She said, yeah, I jumped. Pull him up. You put them, they on the internet. Put a picture of Wolf up. Uh, it's people who said that he looked like Wolf. A situation that may seem like a good idea. There comes a time when you're in a situation that may seem like a good situation. But if you're not waking up happy, or if you disgruntled, or you really don't want to be around that person, you find every excuse to get out of there. And in 30 years, this incident, they use this incident against me to try to run me. That was Shug Knight, seemingly talking about You did good. All right, this is what's up. You can live here, you can record here, you can be bad boy artists here, but if you want to do it, first y'all got to walk to Queens and get me a sugar cookie. Wait, baby. Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> Go out there and get daddy in here. I'm gonna take a nap. So ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing is me trying to break this thing down that's been going on for years now, almost two decades. Who is Justin Combs and who are the two related as far as Anthony Wolf Jones, the bodyguard and slash best friend of Puff Daddy Diddy, whatever you call Sean Combs these days, he got more things to worry about than what we call him. But these things go deep as far as there's been similarities as far as his friend and his son Justin as the appearance might be that people are now speculating and saying that Anthony Wolf is the father allegedly of Diddy's son Justin. Now I know this sounds bizarre, I'm with you guys. We're gonna break down the blood test situation or whatnot because this thing goes a little bit deeper. Now we know all the kids that he has and the ones he adopted such as albie shore's son quincy brown that is you know what i mean which is wild in his own wording because albie shore i don't know maybe you guys know you can let me know in the comment section was he a deadbeat father i don't know people keep forgetting about him and to mention him i mean his dad quincy that is albie shore is legendary but let's continue furthermore now when we're looking at the specifics of things and what was being said through allegations a lot of people have come out to say these allegations were true that diddy only obtained custody of justin in 2003 after his friend died which people are claiming puff daddy aka diddy comb was the one who orchestrated it we'll get into that later remember these are not my words we're trying to cast a spell the things that are being said about diddy with receipts and with things that we can validate or we can talk about it in the comment sections now you got king combs over here who looks more like his dad look i know it's a dangerous game as far as to say who looks like what or with each other but at the same time you have to look at it and look at the strong genetic genes that puff daddy has and to see that one of the sons overwhelmingly looks like his partner it throws people off i've been defending diddy for a while now i was one of the naysayers but too many things have come out and about about this that makes one thinks as far as anthony's relationship rest in peace the wolf that is with one puffy combs now you might think i'm a little far-fetched where most people are saying that misa the baby mother of puff daddy slept and cheated with anthony wolf i'm saying if they did have to mingle judging by the allegations of what p diddy is going through i would speculate that 
it was an agreement where they both did it but this is just speculation based on what if scenarios because a lot of this is appearing to be somewhat believable when you look at the comparison it's startling they have the same eyes same feature same complexion but we can take that away and add it to the mom but you can't get over that he's brighter than his mom they have the same nose come on man same mouth same chin i mean let's just be real it's chiseled the same way like who sculpted this out of diddy genetics now when you go deeper into it and you look at it the nose everything is in comparison and i was trying to get away from it but i looked at the eyes again now i'm not one to say this is true or not true but we just can't with all without a doubt and be like it's just speculations and people are just envious of diddy this thing been going on for a long time ladies and gentlemen all the people involved during that era of hip-hop to even now have all come out and spoken about this you have the likes of reggie wright genie deal suge knight and many others who spoke about this and you know suge knight uh, not even allegedly because i could say what he claimed and said he was sleeping with misha then the bodyguards all said the same thing a couple of mob pa rules contested to that that misha and suge knight was very much together as far as that there would be an entanglement there would be cuddy buddy i mean danny boy from you know death row he mentioned it as well it was almost like they were dating you can tell immediately like they were an item they were you know husband and wife and it makes sense i put up a picture of wolf and one of puffy son justin Cole. look at him you tell me you tell me look at the two pictures they on bomb first pull them up you pull them. they on the internet now that was reggie wright now we were honored to interview him before on this platform salute to reggie wright and um him and his pops no matter what you guys want to say about them they seem very honest despite of the law enforcement jobs they used to have a lot of people don't like that but why would he bring that up and many others have brought the same thing former members brought the same thing now when you look at the similarities it's not far-fetched to believe diddy basically took care of his friend who's no longer here son now anthony wolf died in 2003 let's go to genie dill who speaks a little bit about the comparison he did not directly come out and say it and it's do you think that Diddy is actually Justin's father? I wasn't there. You know, but I make envy windows like, damn, how your son look like your best friend? If he like it, I love it. It's people that said that he looked like Wolf. But I wasn't there. Okay. About Wolf, you mean Anthony Wolf Jr. So a lot of people had their own thoughts about it. Now, we know Anthony was killed in 2003 in a bizarre situation that had a lot of names and figures involved. Now, they're saying allegedly Anthony was also the dude in the 1993 situation in Atlanta, or I don't know the year precisely, but the situation in Atlanta where a death row member got killed. A lot of people speculated and blamed it was Anthony Wolf. These are not my words. Uh, you can look at it on social media, all the names and the figures who have come out and said that he did it i don't want to be one of these people to say that but um you know and it would be eerie because uh, almost a decade later he would die in a similar fashion you know what i'm saying and suge knight would say they're trying to blame him of the situation as far as diddy was using that to, i don't know if he meant blackballed him or basically something to hold the hover over his head let's let suge speak for 10 seconds and in 30 years this incident, they use this incident against me to try to run me. That was Shug Knight seemingly talking. Now, he said they tried to run him. I don't know if they were using that, you know, uh, receipt to keep something tight or lips closed in Shug Knight. But with, with him being incarcerated to bring that up, clearly there's something in his head. It's not like he's getting an early release. They have no reason to fabricate on some of these things, even though other things we can say they're lying about. But to this extent, 
I mean, BMF is something that I don't even need to explain. They're very, I, I guess I'll use the word famous, but there's even more words you can use for their notoriety. And they've been known well all over the world. And Meech, uh, according to some of the streets people, he was very close to Wolf and Diddy, more so to Diddy. And people are saying that Diddy orchestrated Meech and them to basically get rid of Wolf when he found out that Justin wasn't his kid because Diddy didn't take custody of the kid until 2003. So that's the speculations and words on the street to that. Now, you had a lot of fans when I was researching, I was watching major ones who count as far as their platforms. And it was people who said they're related to the families and they were saying Diddy is known for hits wolf killing was orchestrated and it was because he messed with misa resulting in the making of justin combs now as far as affair and adultery i mean i guess suge knight in them and danny boy and the bodyguards and all some of the members of the Ma paru i guess i'm gonna use their word and 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 look at it as factual they've already claimed that misha had an affair behind diddy too i'm gonna be fair we don't know what diddy did to her to make her run to the arms of suge knight but we know suge knight slept with many of these artists wives he slept with um uh, snoop dogg's cousin's wife um i forgot how to say my dog's name because i'm reading this right now i have no script um he slept with snoop dogg mom allegedly according to suge suge slept with um snoop's wife allegedly he claimed he slept with dr dre's michelle he didn't just sleep with michelle's girl he got her pregnant in fact um snoop's cousin let me just do this fast y'all because i need to find it um let me put this right quick it's sad that i can't even find it right now but there's a reason i want to say it to substantiate suge knight's claims now we know about his rapper cousin um man i'm gone right now <laughs> y'all can help me in the comment sections y'all always help out but his wife also got impregnated by suge knight i was trying to show you guys with pictures but you know what screw it now at least you can see this event and these videos i do are not scripted and what's more sad about this suge knight been stated it uh when you had genie dill who put his word on that now you can get sued if you're lying so when you say it in a public platform such as vlad tv which even law enforcement and the fbi have used in his content to substantiate things in court with the magistrate so you can easily see when genie dill is saying these things no one has yet to sue him so i'm sorry i'm gonna go by his words until the person he's accusing these things for dispute it and if you don't dispute it and you let it linger in around these are the things that happen now anthony jones he was acquitted of the criminal possession remember during the famous club incident where j-lo shine and diddy and wolf was actually there attending that night and he got charged as well but only one person who would have to sit for that crime which was shine who did 11 years then got deported when he came home and uh with wolf you know diddy lawyers did the damn thing and he didn't have to sit that long or anything like that now there's more things that was going on that people was bringing out and about like misa taking diddy to court over him putting hands on her she said it hurts deeply she said this is the hardest thing i ever had to do i'm very sad i wouldn't have ever imagined it would have come to this the perception sean pro projects outside the courtroom is quite different from the truth she added he wants the public to have a perception of him but the reality is that i'm here asking for money now what you guys don't know what's going on is was she was trying to get a certain amount of income during this situation you know what i mean and a lot was really going uh forward with as far as this couldn't have been his kid as far as the blood test because none was never really done this was diddy who always took the role i guess as a dad without ever needing a blood test so when he was tried i guess in custody court or whatever he had to pay it because they seen either he signed a certificate at birth or he already you know took upon himself to take claim as the stepdad therefore you don't need to do a blood test if you've already been in the life as a father you just never proclaim it that's why they said diddy took custody of justin in 2003 now let's keep going forward with this misa took diddy to court and basically this is the comparison of what we're talking about kim child was getting thirty-five thousand a month and misa was only getting five thousand five hundred and twelve so they were saying that 
Cone was feeling ill will towards Justin, but not him particularly. It was just more the situation where allegedly that the father was Anthony Wolf. And remember, all this is what people are saying, not the words of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. But I do have opinions and I'm very opinionated. And I would like y'all to hit the comment sections and respond to some of these things so I could rebuttal you guys and talk. But this over here was getting out of hand too, as you can see. Diddy's son Justin was out here with Lori Harvey so people brought that up it was creepy and eerie when Diddy himself started dating his son's ex-girlfriend Lori Harvey and it's just the whole situation is where we find ourselves now with all these allegations towards one Diddy now Ash Cash a battle rapper if you guys are not familiar with battle rap Ash Cat you know Cash is from the Queen of the Rings with Debo the CEO you had a uh, Bags Bunny and Vague you know it's a lot of great stars you get from that side of the ring where she's from but she's also the daughter of Anthony Wolf you know what I'm saying rest in peace the wolf again and she said these things that is not proven that her father was Justin's father I like being transparent and non-biased we need to see all these other sides who spoke about it but then again people came at her and said you don't know what you're talking about because you were too young to know what's the truth you're not a doctor and you know what it even got more deeper because people started Started putting pictures up of her and Justin and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm not saying they're siblings but the similarities is just astonishing I'm just <laughs> it's just too much coincidence involved in this here it's almost like the OJ Simpson and the other Kardashian sister when you look at her and OJ and you look at her dad and mom it's like think oj needs to do a blood test but we're not going to get into that because everybody knows allegedly that the kardashian mom slept with oj well before the case when the dream team took over rest in peace to johnny cochran as well now this slip you seen here is when misha took diddy to court and said some things were about to come out almost six months before all these things started coming out misa ben warned us about this and people kind of dismissed her said she was just yabbing you know the typical baby mama treatment they give you and you get to see this in the full for uh, front of front like she's a prophet or something like that or unless she knew what was coming down now you see roger bonds he spoke about this in the paperwork and we're gonna play him and what he had to say about some of these things regarding diddy so here's diddy's closest associate roger bonds on what he had to say since his name is also on these paperwork in a situation that may seem like a good and yeah there comes a time when you're in a situation that may seem like a good situation but if you're not waking up happy or if you disgruntled or you really don't want to be around that person you find every excuse to get out of there and i got diabetes so my excuse was i can't be with you every day i can't do this i can't do that i'm losing weight i'm doing that but in reality it was I was sick. I was sick of you. I was sick of everything that was going on around you. I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. That's what I was sick. Cassie spoke on it. She said, yeah, I jumped on it. I jumped in between it. That wasn't the only time. It was other times and it was other people remember now roger bond been getting a lot of black uh, um you know backlash people been calling him a rat he's he's taking a stand he's ready to testify and he posted this he said this is not meant to be threats or snitching or anything like that against cassie or diddy or anyone else this is me telling my truth as i truly remembered it for two reasons only first because i have a uh, i have four daughters so on all dudes my truth as i seen it saw it and i was involved with it for years so this man is literally making himself uh, um guilty as charged just to show and prove that diddy is also guilty of these things now looking at this again i think is only one thing we can say in retrospect to diddy Rayshon, in the case of three-year-old Carlito, Rayshon, you are not. Man, shout out to everybody. Hit that like button. Subscribe to I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I'm your host, DJ Bless One, the best one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and definitely stay blessed. Deuces, peace. I'm out.